guys again today for the people in person. If you're not in person, you're on Zoom or you're listening to this recording. Um, I'll, I think I forgot to post the presentation, but I'll do better. But um, I would screenshot each slide as we go and annotate in your photos if it was me. Um, so we're on day two of transformation. So today we're talking about reflection. What do y'all think about when you hear the word reflection? Like a mirror, like our mirror image, right? And so that's exactly what reflection is. So in eighth grade, we're only talking about the reflection across the x-axis or the reflection across the y-axis, okay? So Carolyn and Emily, do me a favor, y'all don't need your iPads right now. So let's just do the notes first. So reflection is either gonna be across the x-axis or it's gonna be across the y-axis. So y'all remember how I told you, a lot of this doesn't have to do with, you don't have to do anything math-wise. It's really just memorization. And this is where we're getting to the memorization part, okay? So the first thing that we need to know is that a reflection is a flip. So this is our, I think I printed this slide for you. A reflection is a print, flip, <laughs> print, flip, okay? It's a flip of a figure. So either I'm flipping it across the y-axis or I'm flipping it across the x-axis, right? And you know that mirror images don't look the same, right? If I have my hands, right, and they're a reflection of each other, right? The pinkies on this side on this hand, but the pinkies on this side on this hand, right? They're not exactly, they don't look the same they're when they're reflected. So that's the same thing. So if I reflect across the y-axis, right, they look different. They're facing each other. Where I reflect across the x-axis, this is how they would look. <clears throat> So real quick, if I label this one A, B, C, and I label this one C prime, B prime, A prime, can someone give me some vocabulary? What's this one called? Pre-image, awesome, good job. So this is called the pre-image because this is the one I started with before I even did anything to my image. So this is called the image because this is the reflected version. So pre-image to image. So remember, your image will have the prime notation on it. These little apostrophes are the prime notation. So that's a little review from last class. So all we have today are two examples for our learning, okay? Just two examples, and then we'll talk about a couple things, and then you'll do today's assignment. All right, let's do it. So reflection example number one, we wanna reflect this across the X axis. We wanna reflect this across the X axis. So let's um, watch me first. So first let's write down our pre-image coordinates. Where is A? Negative seven, six, yes. So A is at negative seven on the X and positive six on the Y. Where's B? Yes, negative five, two. It's at negative five on the X and positive two on the Y. And where is C? Negative seven, two. Yes, it's at negative seven on the X and positive two on the Y. All right, so watch how I do this. Um, if I usually, if I would do this on paper with the students or have a highlighter, but I don't have one and I don't like using that feature on the PowerPoint. So I wanna reflect this across the x-axis. Here's my x-axis. So always know which axis is talking about. I wanna reflect this across the x-axis. So usually I would be at the board and I'm showing you and I think it's easier that way, but here you're just gonna have to follow my pin. So I'm gonna start with B, okay? B is two away from the x-axis this way. So how far away do you think it's gonna be from this way? Two. two. So here, right here, would be B prime because it's an exact reflection. It's two away this way, so it's gonna be two away this way from the x-axis. Now I'm gonna go to C. C is two away at this position, so it's also gonna be a two away going down from the x-axis. So here would be C prime. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm gonna do the same thing with A. A is one, two, three, four, five, six away from the X axis up. So it's gonna be six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's A prime. So do you notice how it got flipped over, right? It's upside down now, right? It flipped over. <clears throat> I don't wanna move too fast cause I wanna make sure we all get this. So remember, just like last class, I didn't teach you or tell you how to do it. I want you to discover the, and make some observations. So let's look at A prime. What is our new coordinate for A prime? A prime is down here. Negative seven, what? Negative, two. negative seven, negative what? Negative two. Are you sure? A is right here. A prime is oh, right here. Oh, oh. A, no, seven. Negative six. seven, negative six. There you go. I think y'all are looking oh, at your, mm -hmm, oh, right? Because it got flipped. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's why we label. Okay. That's exactly why we label our points. All right. Where's B prime? Perfect. Negative five, negative two. And then C prime's where? Yes, negative seven, negative two. All right. Let's look, let's make some observations here. Ready? Let's start with their X values. So from A to A prime, negative seven, negative seven. B to B prime, negative five, negative five. C to C prime, negative seven, negative seven. Did anything happen to the X? No. no, the X's stayed the same. So and we're going to start doing our algebraic representation. So X, it stayed the same. X, Y went to X, X stayed the same. And then let's look at our Y values. A to A prime, six to negative six. Um, two to negative two. Two to negative two. What happened? They changed to negative. They changed signs. So... I'm gonna put negative y down here. This is the algebraic representation. Remember I, what I told you last class? You're not gonna get tested on drawing. You're not, you can't grade drawing. What it's gonna test you on is the algebraic representation. This is the algebraic rule for reflecting across the x-axis. And let me explain what this means. This means x stays the same so even, if, so even if X was negative, you don't see me put a negative X here. This just means X stays the same. And the negative Y does not mean Y has to be negative, okay? What it means is Y changes signs. This is what this means. X stays the same, Y changes signs. So when I reflect, when I reflect across the X axis, X stays the same, Y changes signs. Okay, and the way I memorize that is because I reflected across the X, the X stays the same, okay? Let's look at the next example. We're gonna reflect across. So yeah, this is every, it doesn't matter if the points were negative or positive, that's not what it looks like. It's just saying X stays the same, Y changes size, so it'll be X negative Y. So this is. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at example number two. All right, I think these are the same points. Yes, they are. So let's just type in the, right in the same point. So A was at negative seven, six. B was at negative five, two. And C was at negative seven, two. So these were the same. This is the same. I put it on the same spot this time. So this time, Y is saying Yes. Okay, so let's reflect this. This is time we're going to reflect it across the y-axis. So this, this vertical line is the y-axis, okay? So I like to start with the one that's closest to the y-axis, so I'm going to start with B. B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 away from the y-axis this way, so it's going to be 5 away this way. So here's B prime.
So do the same thing with C. C, because we're reflecting across the y-axis, I look at the y-axis and C is seven away from the y-axis this way. So it's gonna be seven away this way because it's a mirror image of each other. So here's where C prime would be. Then I'm gonna go up to A. A is seven away this way on the y, from the y-axis. So it's gonna be seven away this way from the y-axis. So here's A prime. Does that make sense when I'm reflecting it, how I'm doing it? Okay. So there's my mirror image. Obviously my drawing's not as pretty as the actual figure, but you get the idea, okay? So there's my reflected image across the Y axis. All right, well, let's talk about the points again. So where's A prime? Seven, six, perfect, seven, six, right here, seven, six. Where's B prime? Five, two. And then C prime is at seven, two. All right, let's look and see what happened. Let's have our aha discovery moment. So looking at A to A prime, let's look at the X's first. Negative seven, seven. Negative five, five. Negative seven, seven. What happened? It changed signs, it became positive. So down here on the algebraic representation, I'm gonna put negative X. Again, that negative X does not mean X is negative. It means X changes sign. X changes signs. That's all that means. And let's look at the Y. Six to six, two to two, two to two. What happened? It stayed the same. So I'm just gonna write Y here. That means Y stays the same. So when I reflect across the Y axis, Y stays the same, but X changes signs, okay? These are the two rules you have to memorize, right here. This is not on a formula chart or anything like that. It's literally just memorization. So reflect across the X, X stays the same, Y changes signs. Reflect across the Y, X changes signs, X changes signs, but Y stays the same, okay? This is what you have to memorize. Now, I will, those, those quizzes at the beginning, you know, it's hard for me to say like, oh, you can't have your notes because the people at home, right, could be using their notes, right? And that's kind of not fair. But if, in reality, if y'all were, everybody was in person, this would be no note quizzes and these would have to be memorized every, every class period. Questions, comments, concerns? Confusion? All right. Here's a couple of facts about reflection. Okay, if I look in the mirror, if, and just a standard mirror, if I look at myself in the mirror, do I get fatter? No. Do I get skinnier? No. no, I stay exactly the same. Underline this word. Reflection preserves congruence. When I reflect something, nothing changes. It stays the same. It preserves congruence preserves congruence. So when I reflect something, it stays the same. It preserves congruence. But when you reflect something, don't you notice that like your left eye now looks like it's your right eye? And if you have a shirt on with words on it, they're backwards, right? That's because when you reflect something, it does not, does not, this one does not preserve orientation. So it's not in the same position anymore, right? If I reflect something, if I reflect across the x-axis, I'm upside down now. So I do not stay in the same position. Right. Okay. Yeah, when you do like the thing, your face looks like, I don't know, it's kind of like it's bigger on the other side than the... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so let's do these questions and that's the last slide. So first question says, if point A was negative two, four, 
was reflected across the x-axis, what would a prime be? So any, so let me say this, anytime we do these problems, I always write the rule. Okay, reflecting across the x-axis, x stays the same, y changes size. So what would a prime be? Yes, negative two, negative four, good. Because x stayed the same, negative two stays negative two, but y changes sign. So positive four becomes negative four. All right. Ask me questions, Zoom people. Don't be afraid to speak up, right? Speak up for your understanding. Advocate for yourself and your learning. If point B was negative five, negative six, and was reflected across the y-axis, ooh, pause, um, the y-axis, x changes signs, but y stays the same, what would B prime B? Five, 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 Perfect, five, negative six. B, x changes signs, so negative five becomes positive five, and x stays, I mean, y stays the same. All right. Number three is like a trick question. So I'm gonna let y'all look at it for a minute and see if you can figure it out real quick. All right, anyone think they know? Carolina? Like the algebraic one? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's um, x is plus 2 and y minus 5. Mm -hmm. So awesome. That would definitely fit this first part, 2 units to the right and 5 units down. Then if I reflect across the x-axis, what do you think I need to do from here? You would need to move the... So if I reflect across the x-axis, x stays the same, y change the signs. So technically I would put a negative in front of the y here. And so that would be, you would not get tested on this. I just thought it was, it was a trick question, okay? So if I was to figure out what c prime is, I would add two to c. So negative eight plus two would be negative six and subtract five from y, negative one, but then y change the sign, so it'd be positive one. So that would be c prime. All right, biggest things I need you to know today. Reflect across the x-axis. Mm -hmm. Perfect, x stays the same, y changes signs. Mm -hmm. If I reflect across the y-axis. Perfect, perfect. That's what I need you to remember. This is the big thing today. If you don't know anything else, know these two rules, okay? All right, so on Canvas is a quiz. It looks just like the quiz we took uh, last class, and I don't want to say quiz, assignment, right? And we can help each other on it. It's a daily grade assignment. Um, and then after that, I'll find something for us to do because some of y'all will finish it in like 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah, there isn't really any work to show. So just take a picture of your notes again. Yeah, just do that again. I did, Like I said, I just do that for the people who are not here and don't have anything to show me ever. Uh, I'll go, I'll put it up on the screen. I don't know if you'll need help, but hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh.